Okay, how much silver is that? That's two. Good. That's all we need. Uh, let's go get that lithium. Let's mine that. Oh, I can right-click it. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Cool. We're gonna go down to this, uh... Possible habitat location. I'm not afraid of you. Now, I'm hoping that we have enough juice to get out of here. There's a couple of, like, there's a couple of points. What the hell? Oh, that was weird. That was super weird. Can I try jumping out of the water? Maybe. I know that there are lithium, uh, things that we can mine down here. This is not lithium, I don't believe. But let's figure out how much we get from this. I'm gonna guess four. Oh! Oh, and it adds it to the vehicle storage. Oh, so you can just keep going? That's actually huge. Now we just need to find that lithium deposit. Is this gold as well? Yeah. seen any. I know there's some down here because we've seen it before, but... Oh, let's save. Let's save. <laughs> Scotty F, thank you for the 25 bucks. Thank you so much. Uh, it's Christopher Rod's fault I have XCOM, EU, Enemy Within, XCOM 2, The Witcher 3, Dark Souls, and Subnautica in my Steam library. Give up the awesome videos. Thank you, man. And Falstro, thanks for gifting a sub to Night Owlies. Thanks, guys. It's incredible. Uh, I still have not seen your message. Oh, look at that. That's a magnetite deposit, isn't it? I still have not seen your reply to my question. I'll just assume you're doing great. I need a save emote. I know. I've heard. Uh, Night Owlies, it was gifted to you by Falstro, actually. I might as well grab all of this. <laughs> Cables, you missed it? It was, uh, Alpha. Alpha gifted you a sub, buddy. Hope you enjoy it, man. Okay, guys. Uh, put out your sonar to detect the lithium mining thing, please. And channel all of that energy into us finding it. 
There's more gold there. I can I can take these too, but Snakes ate it? I hope not. Look at the heat. Magnetite again. More magnetite there. Hello. We got lithium. Oh, I think it's in the suit storage, isn't it? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> You're funny, dude. Guys, he figured out the arm thing. He did. He did. Okay, I seem to remember that the, uh, the deposit for the lithium was closer to the actual, like, habitat area, I think. <laughs> My arms, I feel like a T-Rex. My arms are way too short in here. Are you kidding me? This is a prawn suit. There's no getting through this. It's a Mark III. I hope. Franny Pack says, Just want to say you're truly amazing. Someone across your YouTube account when you were doing We Happy Few. There legit isn't another YouTuber like you. Thank you. That's really nice. Thank you, dude. I can't wait for We Happy Few to, like, do a, their big update. The full game's releasing, uh soonish like in I want to say is it April hey Mr. Gravy thank you for the sub and uh, false throat gifting all sorts of subs today gifted one to the franny pack there you go thanks man okay guys if you see one if you see a lithium deposit that we can mine Yell it out, please. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I think we found it. Never mind. Oh, it's it, it's in summer now. Okay. Guys, we found it! Oh, wait. Shit, shit, shit. No storage room. Okay. If I could help it. If, really? Get, get out of here. That actually worked. That actually worked. Okay. We need to clear some space. I can't believe just punching it actually worked. You can upgrade the size of your prawn storage, the same storage upgrade as the sea moth. Okay, cool. I'm just pumped that we're going to get a whole bunch of lithium here. This is- you actually get quite a bit from these, that's awesome. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. We got lithium, boys. Now, I, we got the silver, and we needed titanium. Just a little bit of it. Now watch me not be able to get out of here with this thing.
We're gonna have to, like, climb some platforms to get the prawn suit up. Let's just do a quick repair job. Can I leave this area? I, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm really hoping I can, man. Welcome aboard, Captain. I like that. I like the prawn suit welcome aboard Captain sound. It's good. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of these ledges that we can jump to. So I'm hoping, oh, can we stand on like, oh, sick. Okay. I think we, I don't know. Gonna be close. I don't know. Not looking too hot. <gasps> oh, there's a cliff there, though. There's a cliff there. I really love that there's like a limitation on this thing. It makes it like a unique suit that you wouldn't always want to be in, but you're in it for a specific application Okay, and I think it was like directly up here Ish Fuck I can't see it <laughs> Okay, hold on we're gonna we're gonna map this out a bit Let's see if there's anything we can jump to. I might have to leave it down here until I can upgrade it. We would need to be able to get to this little section. We were super close because we got to there. So if we can get to that section, I think we're okay. I just can't hit the walls. Can you imagine, like, if this was our act- like, if this was really us? Could you imagine how terrifying this would be? You build this big suit, you go to the depths of the ocean to mine stuff, and then you're like, uh... The problem is, is we kind of need to get the suit out. Because of, um... All the materials inside. Okay, don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Up this way. Over here. See, I think we can actually do it. It's just gonna be... a bit of trial and error. Fuck. Okay. Going again. <sighs> Stay as close to the wall as we can. Oh, no! <sighs> Fuck. Okay. We're gonna, I think we're gonna have to leave her down here. I think we're gonna have to leave her down here. Let's check what her upgrade is. Shit. Can you believe it? I can. I can. That's been the kind of day that it, we've had here. Oh, but this stuff, we have no we have no idea what this is. We have no idea what this is. This stuff is out of our league. Let me see if there's another ledge. I'm wondering if it could land, like... Like, could it land, like, right here, kind of thing? I bet it could. This is the area I was trying to land it in. But I can't quite make it. Nah, maybe not. There might be another way out as well. I mean, a little low on water. 
Yeah, I'm gonna see if there's a different exit, exactly. Because this is getting pretty scary. Oh, you know what? What if we go to here first? This looks like a ledge, maybe. Then we could... Pfft, that still seems super far. Let's see if we can get to that ledge. I don't know what type of, like, surface area we need to land this sucker. Okay. Apparently a little bit more than that, but we do kind of regain it. But we can't afford to fall. Like that. I don't know if that's gonna work. We talked about this, too. We talked about this happening, Poolot. I'm a little too cheerful that you got yourself into the same situation I did. Schadenfreude, if you know what that means. I warned you. I know. I warned myself, even. Well, hey. Let's drill some more frickin' lithium. Grappling hook? Is that a thing? That would be outstanding. Okay. Let me try something. I don't know that there is another exit here. I'm looking at the topography stuff and it's looking pretty frickin' solid. Uh, where is my prawn suit? Guys? Where the fuck? Oh, I have to turn it on. That scared the hell out of me. I really want to see if we can get this thing out of here, but fuck. How much time can we really spend on it? Oh, do you think that heat thing leads to... Oh, you know what? Maybe. There was that heat pool over here that was blowing upwards. Maybe that would propel us? But, but I don't know if that actually leads us anywhere. Why is it called Julian? Uh, cause that's the current, uh, mech in the XCOM campaign's name. I bet you can fed it out if you load your last save. Yeah, but that's cheating. I don't like that. I don't like that, Seek. That's no fun. We have to pay- we're- we're atoning for our sins. Is this the heat thing? Oops. 
seek fluid intake. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to freak out if I die because of water. Like there is no The snake is erect AF right now. Yeah, see there's this, but this doesn't look like it goes out. actually in a heap load of trouble. Are you attacking my shit? Oculus. We might have to eat those fish. Just to stay alive. Fuck, we're in full-on survival mode, you guys. We are in full-on survival mode right now. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God. Oh my god. It's gonna give us a little bit of water. We're really testing the limits here, boys. These are two water each. And impossible to freaking catch. Come on. And notice, like... I'm not seeing any way out, either. Like, what a disaster! So scary. I can, as far as I can tell, there's only the one way out. So we're gonna have to go home, get some real water, and come back for this guy. Well, yeah, we have to go- we're trying to- the whole point is to try to go to the alien cave. But, uh, we had to rebuild our Seamoth, and there were a couple of upgrades that we needed. Uh, in order to facilitate that. And so part of coming down here was to get those lithium, uh, deposits. So he came down with the prawn suit, and, uh, yeah, here we are. Okay, I'm- I'm going. Seek fluid intake immediately. I'm on it.
We're going to need to take some of these guys just to survive. Come here, you little bastards. Shit. Oh, we're in so much trouble. Prepare the Fs. Oh, that's not one. Come here. Any one of you, please. Oh, I got something. Avoid the snakes. <gasps> Son of a bitch. I'm so stressed out. I'm so stressed right now. Fuck. Okay, so you know what we can do at least? We can take our Seamoth down there, get all the materials from the prawn suit, bring it back, uh... And then we should be okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, we're all full. Okay, we wanted to build the wiring kit. Can you build a platform or something of sorts to help you get out? I don't think so. I don't think that I can. Okay. You know what we also need? We need to rebuild our first aid kit somewhere where we can just grab it all the time. So here's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the perimeter defense system, which we can now build. We can build one of the storage modules with some of the lithium. So we can actually just leave the prawn suit where it is, I think. For now. We'll do the uh, defense system. We'll hold on to the storage for when we need it. The rest of the stuff we're going to store. And then we're going to go back and look for the... Um, Excuse me, the alien base. Oh, what a, what a setback that was, eh? Hey? Isn't that crazy? Gold, diamond, diamond, lithium. Oh yeah, the lithium will store separately. And we'll know that we have a ton of stuff on the... Uh, on the prawn suit. And we'll just go from there. Use your moth to see the way to get out. And use her lights to find the piece of landing. Hmm. Oh yeah, maybe we don't need the radiation helmet anymore. Because of um, fixing the aurora. That's right, that's a good point. Okay. Stalker tooth, let's store... Okay, let's go from here.
Man, I'm so sorry. Like, what a setback. That really- that really sucked. Didn't it? Dexter's... Peeper V- Oh. Dex Peeper V2. Alright. So base color, we're gonna go- we're gonna go the same thing that we had. It's gonna be like this dark yellow. The interior could be black leather, and then we had the black racing stripes also. It's a Dex Peeper V2. Uh, no onboard storage at the moment. That's okay. I think we're going. I know there's a jumping mod, ardently, but um, there's this one, which we definitely will help us to get out of there. 100%. But, we don't know where Nickel Ore is, so we have to find Nickel Ore and Crystalline Sulfur. These are two things that are in biome that we haven't reached yet. So I'm actually hoping that by going out to this alien base, that we can find, um, we can actually find a place to use this. Or to find, or find a place to mine this. That's the plan. Uh, sorry guys, I missed a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Falstro, thanks for gifting us up to Potato Lord. Uh, bro code. Under the sea, under the sea, darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away while we devote in full time to floating under the sea. Thanks, man. And Baker, man. Baker, man. Thank you so much for the two years, man. That's incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh... Okay. Let's grab some food. We have a lot of salt, so we need some coral. And then we'll make some dried food as well to take. And we'll just head out. So that's for the bleach. We can store these in the bioreactor. We have a bunch of full batteries. Uh, that we'll swap out. I guess it is a pretty big trek. Maybe take a beacon. Yeah, okay, that's a good point. That's a really good point. What does it take to make a beacon? Copper, ore, and titanium. I think we have that. Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay, and then let's get the... Salt. Maybe a creature decoy? If we get attacked again? Might be a good idea. Hey, Baker man, thanks for the bits, man. He says, here's the two years of awesome. Love to see how far you've come. Thanks, dude. I appreciate you being along for the ride, too. Were you, uh, were you on deployment for a while there? And if so, hopefully everything's okay. Uh, yeah, Coveers, we got the prawn suit, buddy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's currently busy doing things elsewhere. Just, uh, you know, it's just doing a few things. Uh, I can't really talk about it right now. This is, that's really all I can, I may as well cook it, but. These ones are going to go bad, so I'm pretty much just going to eat these now. We'll keep the cured one. Oh, that was the wrong one to cure. Whoops. And then, what else? I don't think we need to take all this water. Okay, I think like this is okay. Battery, battery, battery. We'll swap out one of the dead ones.
And what are we at here? Power. Let's swap this for a full one. Same thing here. Same thing here. Same thing here. Okay. I think we're set. Guys, time for adventure. Time for adventure. So we needed to go north west past the We need to go into those clouds, right? To find the original alien base, then we need to go elsewhere, I think. Then we need to go southwest of the enforcement platform and find that deep area. So let's check out let's check out our stuff. So we've got the hull reinforcement. Oh, we have to like turn we have to like do these. Oh, I have to like activate these. Oh, okay, that's neat. Yeah, let's save. Whoo! Okay, we got it. Oh no, it's this one, isn't it? Is it this one? Northeast. Never seen the scanner tool? Yeah, it looks pretty neat. That'll help us find the, the cave, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, we were gonna we were gonna take a five minute break like an hour ago. You're right, Vinny. Sorry, I got too focused. I was too focused. No, we can't- we can't go back now. Can't take any breaks. This is Dexter's Peeper V2. We had to recreate- we had to rebuild an entire Seamoth with upgrades because we went out to this area and got demolished by these deep sea creatures. Not this time, though. I hope that helps us. You saw a pretty good picture of me shredding on Guitar Baker? I know. I know. Alpha, thanks for gifting us up to Zubrick, buddy. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Okay. The sonar wrecks the stream compression? Yeah, I can imagine. I'm gonna try to see it. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, so from here... Fuck, here we go again, guys. We need to go... Southwest of the enforcement platform. Which is here. And we need to go lower. We need to get to 800 meters depth through a cave system. This is the asshole that killed us. I don't like that that doesn't seem to do anything. Southwest. You held your breath for so long with the pause never came and didn't want to be naggy about it, so I'm sitting here right now eating chicken, wok, and rice. Okay, good. I'm glad that you decided to eat. 
Okay, so... Okay. This looks like a fully enclosed area. Whoa! This is freaking intense. I think I'm gonna have to go down one of these. But is that a good idea? I think we can withstand it? No, we can't. There's not even a... Nope. Holy shit. Wow. This is so freaky, man. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm looking to see if there's like actual entrances down here. These all look like they're just straight down into, like, a heat fan, but no, like, break-off locations. Maybe, do we need to go further southwest, guys? Because I'm not seeing a way down here. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of spare batteries, yeah. Maybe start at the actual facility. Well, didn't I do that? What are you talking What do you mean? Start at the actual facility. Because if I go out here... Started on the wrong side, I think. Yeah, but southwest is still southwest. <laughs> so whatever, whatever side you start on doesn't really matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna go further southwest and see what happens. Whoops. We're gonna go further southwest. Hold on. Okay, hold on a second. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Scans show a nearby opening, leading to a bio yes! fossilized remains. That's what we wanted, fossilized remains. Wow. Save this. 
This is cool. How dangerous it is, I'm not sure. But these don't look like they're friendly. Well, this is new music. Oh, look at that. I know what that is. I can tell. What the shit? What was that? Did that thing just attack me right there? Oh, maybe I'm- maybe I'm too deep for, like, my suit. Or the green- oh, it's the green stuff, maybe. Like an acid of some kind? No fucking way. Whoa. Oh, I don't think he gives two shits. Oh, what is this? Guys, this is like an alien thing. Okay, we're near. We're near where we need to be. I can't go in. Oh, you just can't go in with the sea moth. Oh, okay. Shit. Sorry. It, like, totally blocked me, so I figured we couldn't go in. Okay, 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 okay. Thanks, 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 thanks. Amoeboid. Simple non sentient organism found attached to land with high levels of fossilized organic matter. It feeds on this matter until it reaches maturity, at which point it divides to create two new genetically identical offspring, and then the cycle continues. Now, it said we needed to be at, like, 800 meters, so if maybe this cavern system takes us deeper. <laughs> New species slice them. Yeah, that's what I was trying. Apparently, no. Oh, another gate. Man. These gates are cool and all, except we don't... We can't... Do anything with them. So I think we're like... We're in like the garage of the alien base. Of another alien base. So this is like the back entry into here. But we need to actually find... We need to actually find the facility itself. And unless there's a way in from here. Which I'm not seeing. I think we have to go back out and find another entrance, guys. <laughs> 
An alien garage. Yeah, exactly. And, like, remember, they did say that it was 800 meters. This is only 600. What was that? What's with the field? This thing? It scans. So I think this is where we came in from, right? This is where we entered from. I remember this tree, so I'm gonna just try and head southwest from here, see if we can find it. We're still about 200 meters above where it should be. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> wow, dudes. Eight hundred. We are at eight hundred meters under the sea. I do realize that pinging uses power, yes. But I also realize that pinging gets us places. Oh, look at this. Oh, I think that might be the entrance. Shit. Welcome aboard, Captain. I was gonna see if we could scan this. Oh, maybe. Leviathan skeletal remains. Sea dragon. Semi-intact skeleton structure of Leviathan class predator. Head trauma. Clear evidence of a massive physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe it was likely the cause of death and must have occurred somewhere nearby. <laughs> damage is consistent with a high-speed collision with a solid object. Age. Something in the environment has helped to preserve these remains, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death 1,000 years ago. Bone structure suggests the creature was in egg-laying stage of its life cycle. Wow. Let's fix up this bad boy, okay?
Look at these. How dangerous is this? Probably very. But I'm doing this for science, you understand? Poisonous flesh. Oh, it's inedible. Okay. Feeding behavior uh, feeds on plant matter that's settled on the ground. Okay, so it's not going to eat us. But it might protect us. The structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Yes. Astute observation. Detecting an alien broadcast, linguistic analysis reads, caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Hazardous life forms contained within? Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced. Follow the Lost River. The designers were seeking people to keep something out or contain it within. Oh Whatever no! Their intention, it clearly <gasps> failed. I bet you this was housing that big uh, reaper thing. Do we have a, uh... Do we have a way to unlock that? I don't want to go too far away, but... Oh boy. Advanced through Sea Dragon Egg- Oh! This large egg is held in a hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized. Without the means... At the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen, it is possible the aliens sought to study instead the egg laying and incubation process. To what end is unclear. A display case containing an array of rib cages harvested from the indigenous life forms, there's a particular focus in this air instance on vertebrae skeletal structures. While some of these skeletons match organisms encountered on the planet so far, most cannot be matched with confidence, suggesting either that there are species out there not yet accounted for, or that they have become extinct since these samples were collected. Okay, let's, let's read that one back in the safety of our Sea moth. I don't think I can go through this, can I? No. Uh, hold on a sec, though. What if... Let's just try something here. No. Okay. It was worth a shot. Ah, hello. Oh. <sighs> did I... Did I place a beacon yet? No. But I'm going to. Um... Alien Facility 2. That music sounds good. Oh, there's a thing right here. Oh.
We didn't bring the tablets! We didn't bring the tablets. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> it's fine. You know what? It's fine. Integrating new PDA data.